So, we are home. I'm finally home. I just got back from um, volunteering at Milo's school today, so it, it, it was a long time. <laughs> It was a long time. I was there from nine until like it's noon now. So I was there pretty much all morning, <laughs> which is fine. It's fine. It's not really not that big of a deal. I was just hoping to get a little bit more like progress done on some of my video stuff. But right now I have about two hours before it's time to pick up Milo from school. So I'm going to try to get Square Hue stuff taken care of. Um, that is the next video that I need to accomplish for today. I do want to get another video or another vlog up today, um, like combine Tuesday and Wednesday together. But I think the priority is going to be Square Hue first and then the vlog. Uh, but I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm feeling so much better today than yesterday. I think I just maybe just woke up on the wrong side of the bed or um, I think I also ate too much, like I had uh, too much gluten yesterday, like I had a bagel for breakfast and then I had breadsticks for lunch, like I think I just ate too much gluten, um, which I know sounds like ridiculous, but it does, I, I am a little bit sensitive to it in the fact that it like, it does affect my mood. Um, so like today, for so like today I had like cereal for breakfast and I had a salad for lunch and so I'm trying to like, okay, let's, back off the gluten for a little bit and see if that puts me in a better mood. But that's not important. Let's try to press on. Um, I'm going to try to uh, edit Square Hue. I think I might be able to get the majority of it done in two hours, but I don't, it's a lot, because I've got to do the actual like review and then I have bottle swatch, swatches and live swatches and then I've got to preview the next month and so, there's a whole lot of stuff that goes on with the square hue, but so long as I get it out by tomorrow, I think I should be okay. I, I know I'm going off on a tangent here and I'm really just procrastinating, but I think what I'm missing is like a routine. When I was training, I had a routine. Like I would walk Milo to school and then I'd go for my run and then as soon as I'd come home, I'd take a shower and I'd, you know, work on videos or I'd, uh, I'd uh, work on like church stuff, like whatever was my task for that week, that's what I would work on. Like this whole week is the first full week I've had without training for the half. And I think that's what's kind of throwing me off is like I don't have that routine set down and I am definitely the one who like benefits from having a set routine. So I think I might work on that this weekend as well, try to figure out like what my routine should be. Um, because if I do the same thing every day, I tend to like, it goes better for me. But anyway, that is another topic altogether. I need to stay focused. Let's get this square hue thing figured out and hopefully we will have something fun to do later in this afternoon. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do today. <laughs> try to make, try to get stuff done. That's what we're gonna do. Anyway, I gotta get to work. All right, so I have finished my square hue review and it is two o'clock. So there is a chance I might actually get this video up today, which would be awesome. The only thing, it says it's gonna take about an hour to render, and usually that means like about 30 minutes. Um, so the only thing I have to do is do the photo, the thumbnail, and I did not do that when I had all my stuff set out. So right now I need to like clear off my table because it's a little bit of a mess. Um, I've got like my glasses and nail polish and swatches and everything. So I have to clear like all of this off I think I'm gonna put you guys right here. Um, so I'm gonna need to clear off some space to make room for like the camera and the lights and all that stuff, um, which is actually not a bad thing because I have to, as soon as I'm done with Square Hue, I have to start working on the Zoya Holiday. So it's actually not a bad thing that I have to set up all my lights and cameras um, because I'm gonna have to anyway for swatching. Cause I kind of like to do swatching first before I film the review. That way I can have like fresh in my mind. So I kind of like to do five applications before I film the actual review part, just cause it's easier that way. Um, sorry if you guys hear any humming. My neighbors are mowing their lawn right now <laughs> and uh, and it's obviously creating some, some noise issues. I had a comment on my wig review. I was just looking at the comments real quick. I haven't had time to answer them yet. But I was just, you know, looking them over and somebody had mentioned, um, somebody had asked about the humming in the wig video and it's my neighbors. Like my, 
I'm technically in the basement, but like my house is kind of on top of a hill. And so like our property is kind of slanted this way. So even though I'm in the basement, like my, I have a window that's like ground level and um, my neighbor's yard is like literally like right, like there's like one tree and then it's my neighbor's yard. So anytime they're out there like mowing their lawn, I can hear them, like I can see them. <laughs> so that's what the humming was in the wig video. And if you hear humming right now, like that's mowing their lawn right now. It's like 34 degrees outside. <laughs> but they're out there mowing their lawn, um, which I don't get because the grass is not growing. So I don't know why they're mowing, but I don't know. The people that live in our, on our street are very, very much aware of their lawns and they take good care of their yards, which is great, but we don't. Um, <laughs> so like their yards are like immaculate. They don't have like one leaf out of place and all the grass is always evenly cut. And like, I think the last time we cut our lawn was like in September. So it's been a while. <laughs> our grass is super long and nasty, but it's like freezing outside. So I'm not sure. People are probably just cutting their lawn to get ready for winter. So I'm setting up for my photo shoot right now. And you guys can see all of the, the fancy dancy high tech things that I use, <laughs> which are basically just these like shop lights that are like clamps. This is my fancy things. And then I've got these two like craft lamps that have um, imitation daylight bulbs in them. And that's, and I cover them with paper to soften the light. And uh, yeah, that's my fancy setup. I would love to get one of those nice like box light systems that all the real fancy Nancy professional YouTubers have. But um, I'd rather spend my money on nail polish. <laughs> It's so true. Like every time I get my paycheck from YouTube, I always think, okay, this is the, this is when I'm gonna get those like softbox lights. I should really like invest and get some softbox lights. I end up buying nail polish with it. <laughs> Cause I'm like, that's important for my channel too, right? So uh, I'm ridiculous. It's a little bit, it's a little bit rinky dinky, but I mean, it does its job. It's been doing its job for years. That's gonna fall any minute now. Don't break, don't break. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Okay. It's been doing its job for like several years now. Like just proof that you don't need fancy things. Although the fancy things do make it a lot easier <laughs> as far as like lighting control and whatnot. Actually, I don't need the tripod just yet. Turn this on. And you also have to let these warm up. Like these day bulbs that I have in here, like they're, um, they're LED. And so they need to like warm up before you can use them. Otherwise they're not bright enough. Um, so I'm going to let these warm up. I have to get my square hue box and the polishes. Okay. So my square hue polishes are here. One of these is this month's box. Whoa, I caught it. There we go. Okay. So then the way I take the photos is I keep the box and I keep the packaging and I will put these back in here. Um, I think it was set up like this. I remember it correctly. And then in order to keep things like still a surprise, I put the fluffy stuff back in there to kind of cover up the bottles. And then I put the card back on top. And then my table, while it may look white, it's actually kind of like creamy. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell, but like, like this is white and this is like cream. It's like off white. So it, it kind of, throws off the white balance in my camera. So what I normally do is I just grab some uh, printer paper that's like pure white. Like if I put this paper down, like you can tell, like they're different. And I throw that on top of it like this. And then I grab my fancy dancy lights. Um, so this is like tracing paper and then a, a sheet of actual printing paper on top of it just to filter it out even more to make it softer. And then this one is just tracing paper. It's like two sheets of tracing paper um, to again, just kind of filter things out and make it look soft and nice. So of course I will be using my DSLR, but this kind of gives you a feel of what it would look like in the camera. So then I kind of angle that back and I push this down a little bit and then I'll zoom in and it'll be a shot basically like that, but it'll look a lot different on the DSLR. Good. 
Um, so that's all I needed to do for the thumbnail. Now I just need to upload it and I might need to tweak it a little bit in um, like processing and whatnot, but that's basically it. That's like as easy as it is to take the square hue photos. Uh, thumbnails, which is really 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 easy. It just takes a while to set up everything right now I need to get my shoes on and I gotta go get my mo. Let's go get the mo. All right So I don't actually know if you can see me. Maybe if I go like this. Can you see me now? Anyway, um So I am doing a late night run to Hobby Lobby. I think I had mentioned. Oh, there's some light I needed to get some charms for one of the birthdays of the girls in my church group so we are at Hobby Lobby to get some charms for her. So let's go see what they have. Not sure what they're going to have in store. I know what they have at Michael's in my mind. So I went there yesterday, last night, after activity. So I know what they have at Michael's. So I want to see what they have here. And maybe we'll go to Michael's after this too. But let's go on an adventure. And then light. Okay, so it was good. We did good at Hobby Lobby. Um, I tried to film a little bit, but then the second I started picking up charms, my hands were full and I couldn't film anymore, but you know it goes. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I found some charms that uh, I think will work really nicely for her charm bracelet. I think it's gonna work out really good. Um, I think I'll probably show you tomorrow or like in the next vlog that I do because uh, there's really bad lighting and I can't get my camera to focus appropriately in this lighting. So I'm gonna end the vlog here for today. And uh, yeah, I will definitely keep up with this a little bit longer. I think I need to get into my like schedule like I was talking about before. Um, but until then, we're just going to try and keep plugging away at this as best we can. And I don't know, maybe it's working, maybe it's not. We'll find out. But so I'm going to go and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.